Alright everybody, guys and gals, this is that Browning, Browning Double Action 380 that I've had for some years. You guys have seen it a few times, I'm sure. Uh, I've, I, this is the one I used to wear on my ankle. I actually wore it on the ankle for 15 some years or so. 13 shot, you know, uh, it was all nickel. The nickel started to wear from holster down around here. Um, and such and a little bit in the back strap so uh, I had uh, Dura coated it last year a desert type color desert brown and then I wanted to try that uh, Suricote or Korea coat I think it's Suricote uh, and see how that worked so I ordered a couple of colors of that uh, the heat cured by the way and uh, I sprayed it with that. Now I'll tell you, that's great stuff. I hadn't used the air cure, I used the heat, so I did have to stick this in the oven for a few. However, I find it to be great stuff. Um, the only problem I have is that the color on the chart uh, is not identical to the color that it actually is. It's almost a bronze type color, if you can see it, with a little um, iridescent to it. Uh, and I really don't particularly care for that color on the gun. So, uh, even though it's seven, seven degrees right now in uh, my workshop, I've got the uh, wood stove up and... I'm going to start to break this down and clean it up and sandblast if necessary. And uh, I have a few other colors of the Cerakote. So I'm going to uh, find one uh, as close to the earth brown that was on there last year and do it. If not, it'll probably get done black <laughs> or uh, deep gray or something. But... Um, any color is better than this color. Uh, like I say, it's a nice color. It's just not for me on this particular weapon. So with that being said, without further ado, we're going to start breaking this down and, uh, and do it up, guys. So uh, I'll get back to you with part two.